So Lola, lovely to meet you. Thanks so much for taking the time to speak with us. For people who don't know anything about the film, how do you describe what Theatre of War is all about? Uh, Theatre of War is a film in which three Argentine veterans, two British veterans and a Gurkha veteran are reconstructing the memories of the Malvinas Falklands War. So basically the film is in a way like showing the process of how these veterans met 35 years after the conflict and they started to um, to get to know each other and to tell their stories of what happened to them during the war and after the war. And what inspired you to embark on this project? How did you, you know, come across these veterans or why did you want to talk about the Fulton War? In fact, it, this film is part of a five years project that started in 2013 when I was invited to London to be part of an exhibition that was called After the War that was done by Lift Festival in Battersea Art Centre and there I had only like Argentine veterans reenacting their memories of the war in a video installation and after this video installation I started to ask myself what are the stories of the British and then I decided to do a theatre play and a film with Argentine and British veterans together uh, because I thought it was like it was really like two two very different narrations of what what happened and on why the islands belong to whom. And I thought it was a kind of um, yeah it was a challenge to to bring them together to try to to reconstruct what what happened to them there and try to understand the perspective of the other. And you do seem to kind of mix with sort of like experimental film, interactive theatre. So, you know, how do you characterise your filmmaking style? Well, in fact, I, I, I consider myself an artist in a very wide uh, sense of it, which means that I do like literature, I do theatre, I do installation and I do films and I'm doing like different procedures and tool, I'm using different tools um, in a very yeah, free way. Um, so for me, like doing a film is just like another way of, of working with the same subject and it allows me to, to bring different issues. Uh, but in fact, I don't consider myself as one thing, you know, like as a filmmaker or as a writer or as a, or as a theater maker, but more like an artist in, you know, in a wide sense. So you're working with veterans who perhaps suffer trauma, you know, delving into some difficult topics. Was there any moment in the making of it that was particularly challenging? It was all particularly challenging, to be honest. I mean, it was a very, um, yeah, it was a very challenging project in many ways. Um, on one hand, you have people who spoke different languages because the Argentines spoke Spanish and the British spoke English and they didn't speak the language of the other. So we, the artists, were the translators, the mediators, the bridge between them. And in a way, during the process of rehearsing the piece, they started to get to know each other through us. And there were many moments where it was really difficult with, because there were many misunderstandings, things that were lost in translation, um, many moments where they were angry because of what the other said, um, or angry because they couldn't understand the position of the other, um, moments where they were angry with us, with the whole production team and the director myself <laughs> because I put them in this situation because of course it was for them a very big step to become in a way performers of a play and a film because they are not just witnesses who are telling the stories they are really performing um, in a way um, like actors do like they do perform and they repeat and they have text and they have to know uh, what they are doing and they are very aware of this but it was a long process of building up this relationship and, and for them to get used to what it means to perform. And what do you hope to have achieved through the project? I mean, do you think in some respects it was 
somehow therapeutic or cathartic for those involved? And then also, how do you think it will impact the viewers of the film? I think this film is a kind of essay of, of how to represent war. Um, so I don't do it for therapeutic reasons. I do it, I do it because I'm interested in how, how many ways we have to represent something as the war, because it seems there is only one way to represent the war, and especially in cinema, there's always these epic films with like big productions where people are like blowing in the air and there is big explosions. So you have here a film which is about war, where people reconstruct their war stories with the use of their own bodies and just some elements. Um, there is not a single shooting in the, I mean, in the, in the film. There is just like this encounter and this, um, in a way, theatrical reenactments where they put their own bodies in the position where they were in the islands when they fought against each other. So I think it, what was interesting was also a, a female perspective on what the war um, is like, because you always have this is really like war is a is a story that is told by men, you know, like men tell the story of war. And in this case, to have like an Argentine female director trying to put together all these stories of, of these men was particularly um, challenging for for all of them. Um, and it was for me too, because I had to deal with them. <laughs> And how does it feel to have the film here at the London Film Festival? And it was in very interesting. We had two screenings, and the people were um, were very um, moved by the film, and they stayed and they wanted to know everything about the project and to understand what are the situations that are behind that happened behind scene and. It was, it was really, really nice, and I hope we can show it in other parts of England, too. Do you think it's a topic that's still quite contentious, or do you think it's a good moment to kind of, you know, be going back I think, this? yeah, I think, I mean, somehow the, the, the film is not, and the play is also not about the war, um, I mean, this particular war in itself, it's about, like, the consequences of war, the traces that were uh, left in people's lives. So I think it's important to think about that in this moment, definitely, where we are like, there are so many wars happening right now. So what are going to be the effects of these wars in the future? And, and especially, I think, in this moment of a very, um, of a very um, strong nationalist propaganda, um, Brexit as one example of it, um, it's interesting to reflect on how this nationalist propaganda that was um, created by Margaret Thatcher in the 82 when, when she decided to go to war just to win another election, you know, really changed the whole um, political and um, Sociolo uh, sociological atmosphere in England, and it, it was the beginning of Thatcherism, mass privatization, end of union power, um, neoliberal markets. So I think we are in a moment where it's interesting to think about what nationalism is, what it means to go to war because of your nation, what it means to try to be, to have your own narrative as like the prominent narrative of the world. Like we have to see it with our own eyes. Okay, brilliant. Well thank you so much. That's been really interesting. Thank you. Thanks so much for your time.